Hello guys, it's Adam and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Haven't been on this game in such a long time and now 1.8 has come out. I thought it's time, or 18 or whatever, um, it's time for another gameplay video. So I just want to go over all the cool new stuff which has happened in this. So shall we get started? Unfortunately all my planes, my amazing old planes which I made, <laughs> do not work anymore so I just got rid of them. But um, because there's loads of there's loads of new awesome things to um, there's now you have to think about airflow, el electricity. Uh, it's got different types of fuel. For example, this has got oxidizer, which jet engines only need liquid fuel, really. And I find it's a lot harder, and I I see that as a challenge, and I like it. So yeah, firstly we'll go into utilities. We've got um, the rechargeable battery pack, and basically obviously what do you think a battery does it stores electrical charge um you need electrical charge for lights um engines other gadgets you know and that i believe if you have more than one cockpit that's where they live i presume and there's docking i haven't actually tried docking i could imagine it to be ridiculous trying to um slowly dock up to a satellite and just blowing everything up or something just like in the video <laughs> um i actually been through all of it that's another housing slot. When I saw this, my mind was blown. I thought, holy shit, unlimited p um, propulsion. But then I saw that just at the propellants, it needs xenon gas, which is a bit of a killer. <laughs> so I was thinking of sending like little ships into space, and they'll be going really slowly, but just sending them in uh, into nowhere. But no, it doesn't work through that. So I was a bit disappointed. I'm trying to also get your plane to take off with just these electric propulsion systems is pretty much impossible because they do they are quite big thrusters as you can see you know only one would fit on the back of it there's um parachutes which we've all seen don't know why I'm trying to stick them up and then the side pa there's more parachutes and then there's all generators as well and and there's what my personal favorite solar panels they produce a lot of electricity and you can get lights as well so I'm gonna go ahead and make a plane and see if it works okay so just actually looking at it this plane is fucking ugly <laughs> I even test flighted I gave this test flight test flighted I don't know if that's the right word but yeah um, so I actually flew it so god knows what's gonna happen looking at my center of thrust and center of, center of mass is a bit it, it, I don't know if that'll flip or not but um, I've got these because he seems to go a lot faster on the ground, but he also seems to overheat quicker. So, but we'll see what happens. And I've also got lights, and I my batteries are there, and solar panels. So, like I said, we'll we'll see what happens. This could go horribly wrong, which it probably will do. But isn't that the fun of KSP? Everything just blowing up in front of you. Right, and and here it crashes. Are you going to do anything? There we go. Mutton. They've changed the names. So this is just I've been playing it on the safe side, hoping that I'll have enough thrust and no that's RCS Adam. <laughs> First thing I'm gonna do is actually turn it down so you guys can actually hear me. We'll have the music on. Yeah, so there's music too. Ah! Right, so what happened to my KSP and it decided to crash? <laughs> Said something about resolution. Seems that like everything on my game is actually crashing. Right, let's see if I can load auto save ship. No, 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 no. Please work. Please work. Thank you. Shall we try this again? So yeah, it's got music which, um, as one of my friends put it, reminds him of Sims, which I can see where he's coming from. Right, should we try this again? Doodly? <laughs> Sounds Australian. I'm not even going to attempt my Australian accent, though. It's terrible. Right, this has got a... We're either going to turn off course, smash into the end of the way. No, we're going to turn off course. So that's not a good sign. Look at it's actually got a lot of speed. Oh my god, no, 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 it took the power, 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 There's a few things which need to be adjusted. Right. 
Right. After that quick just No no. Hmm, where are you? Where are you? Where there you are. I want it on both sides. So let's see what happens now with just three engines. Let's see if it actually crashes this time. My computer seems to be derping something fierce recently. And also, on a random note, for any of you that play Planet Side 2, it's double XP weekend and it's goddamn amazing. This is the actual closest I've got to a successful aircraft in this version. I've tried all sorts of funky designs. One looked like, I don't know, a boomerang. And it, well, it looked goddamn awesome. It had like, oh, they're a bit bendy. Oh, shit. Right we can't change them now. We just have to see what happens. And amuse ourselves.
How did I do that? There we go. I don't know if you guys can... Uh, how do I... Press all the buttons. Yes, a light survived. Houston, we have landed. It's all good. They can salvage the wreckage. Right then, I shall save this as the um the um need to improve. I could I could improve that and I could make that a decent plane with um 